Ah! Uh, wait, who are you? As you can see, I'm the Punisher. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and this is my wife, Janella Raffulis. And we're going to unbox, what are we unboxing here? The Punisher. I'm so excited. Yes, and this is from the Netflix series, The Punisher, and this is by Mesco 112 Collective. So enough of us talking, let's open this guy straight up, because I have a feeling that this is going to be a long one because of all the cool stuff that he has. And we're gonna unbox him right away. But before we do that, where can you get this guy at? DStartToys.com. That's where you can get this at www.DStartToys.com. Your reliable source for awesome action figures. This guy is retailing for 80 US dollars. We're gonna open him up today and we're gonna see if he's worth that $80. And for the most part, most of the time, Punisher figures are worth it because of the sheer amount of accessories that you get. And we're going to look at those accessories. We're going to go over paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. And also, we're going to be doing a Little Armory test to see if Little Armory uh, 112 scale model guns will work with them. So enough of us talking. Let's open this guy. Let's see if he looks anything like John Barenthal. And the answer to that is, whoa, as we get really close, yes. Definitely yes. Yes, that is <laughs> that is a 100% yes. This looks like John Barenthal, uh, the Punisher right there looks really really good this is a really accurate depiction of him look at the skin tone sorry sorry <laughs> Janella just warned me that I had him off screen I'm just amazed <laughs> on how cool this guy looks am I right look at the skin tone you can actually see like little wrinkles and scars and stuff like, like that his yeah hair fading on the back of his head his oh, facial yeah. hair and you can see the shading on his face and everything like that looks absolutely amazing if you're looking for the absolute best uh, Netflix Punisher action figure and I have to say this one is it the Marvel Legends one is $20 you know but if you want the most accurate and best looking this one takes the cake uh, Literally. <laughs> well, I don't say literally. Not, he doesn't take not, any cake. He never sorry. Takes the cake. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm still <laughs> in the punisher, punisher mood. <laughs> and as you can see, the vest looks really cool as it's spray painted on. We got uh, nylon clothes right here, which is nice and stretchy and it's form fitting. And we have the tack pants right here, which look really good with some padding right there. It looks like we got some faux leather. Fa faux? Faux. Faux. <laughs> faux leather here on the knees. And let's l look at these boots. And these look like 5.11 boots to me. And yeah, and oh, look at here. We got holsters for the pistol. And we got a holster for the K-Bar knife right there. And that looks really good. I'd have to say this looks absolutely amazing. And the best part of this figure, not only does he look cool, the next best part is the accessories, which we will go through after um, articulation and scale. So let's get into articulation and scale so we can look at accessories. Uh, let's see how tall he's going to stand right here. He's a 112 scale figure, so he should be, it looks to me, he is six, a little bit above six and a quarter to me. And we're going to compare him with other action figures right now. Uh, we do have other Mescos. Of course, since he's, you know, he was introduced from Daredevil. Here's Daredevil. Uh, as you can see, these two do scale well together. And if you're wondering, hey, does he fit well with the other Mesco Punishers? And here's another Mesco Punisher. This is the uh, SDCC exclusive Punisher with that awesome skull mask right there. As you can see, these two, not so much. It looks like the comic book one is a little bit thicker, buffer. What do you think? Comic book is definitely buffer. Yes, definitely a buffer, uh, more exaggerated version of the Punisher yeah, he's as to it be, like, should be. Super big, yeah. and intimidating looking. Not that John Barenthal isn't intimidate intimidating, <laughs> right? In his appearance, right? It's just really more accurate according to like his actual human form versus the comic book is like ginormous. Exactly. <laughs> scary. Uh, let me go grab a Marvel Legends real quick and we're going to see how he compares with a Marvel Legends action figure. And here is an advanced suit Spider-Man from Marvel Legends. I'd have to say this scales sort of. I mean they are the same height almost. Uh, it looks like the con this one, or not comic, sorry, this is the PS4 video game version. The head is a little bit too wide to fit. 
but you know what? I'd have to say for the most part, it does work well. And for people who have imports, here is a Mafex Spider-Man real deal converter. Yeah, better. I'd have to say these two look really good together. And that's it when it comes to scale. Let's go into articulation. We don't get a, um, a toe joint there, but we do get an ankle rocker, which is what a lot of people like. So the ankle rocker, you can have him bounce much easier than if you didn't have it. Uh, we don't get a shin swivel. We do get a bend at the knee. We do get that solid kick right there. So there's definitely a joint there. Do we get a uh, waist swivel? Yes, we do. Uh, because of the vest, it doesn't look like you can do crunches, unfortunately. And Janelle is messing with his little coat there. <laughs> she always loves those coats. I don't, don't know why. Uh, and let's go over. The, he has a shoulder joint right there. He does have a bicep swivel. So something that I've been kind of struggling since I've opened him. Let me see what's going on here. Oh. It looks like he has. An extra yeah, layer? it looks like he's wrapped in something. That's Can what I thought. I think so. I've noticed that that was there at first, and let me, uh, everyone please stand by, I've no, I didn't know this was here, so if you guys were like, uh, pick up this figure, just know that this is here to protect the, the sleeve, so there you have it, and now I should be able, whoa, that is an extremely tight, wow, whoa, okay, uh, guys, guys out there, let's move back the sleeve, so you can see where the joint is, so you can properly articulate that to loosen it up. Whoa, that is almost too it's tight. interesting that they did that. Yeah, that is an extremely tight joint. Um, I don't know if it's due to these. No, it's not due to these, but yeah, it's the, that's the tightest joint I've seen so far this year when it comes to an action figure. See, and you got to make sure that it's correct, or you have to make sure that his forearm's correct. Which is, this is a little bit strange to me. His forearms are really thin. Really skinny. Yeah, I remember him being a lot buffer. buffer. Yeah. Uh, I think the reason why they do this, and this makes a lot of sense to me, and this is a scale issue here. So if you made him buffer, and this is just my, my, my theory, okay? If you made him buffer, and then you have the coat, which Janelle was unboxing, he would look way too thick, and then if you would put him with matt murdoch here he like a big guy in a yeah he looked like a big guy in a tiny jacket i think that's probably why they did that Matt's so that's my opinion pretty... yeah that's my opinion on it uh the reason why they made his arms thin so What's you up? have to have him with his jacket on yes um he's advertised with the jacket mm. on the back of the box he has his jacket on so i mean it's a given that his jacket is the preferred way to pose this guy so let's finish up articulation sorry there's a little segue there uh we do have the ball and peg there at the wrist and we have two at the neck it looks like we have a whole bunch of little Gosh, um, did they like yeah they put all of his <laughs> yeah seriously Every there's just extension? a bunch of them wow this is not his legs, this like. is not usual usually <laughs> that's okay that's it i think <laughs> that's it so we're looking at above 20 points of articulation now let's move on to accessories everyone's favorite part and we're gonna see how he does with his accessories and then we're gonna test his accessories also with a comic book version and then we're gonna check out little armory and see if that works so if you guys have a little armory um, collection we're gonna see if it works well with him so let's move on to his coat so like I said before he's advertised with his coat so his coat is like the thing or his trench coat is the thing to have on him uh, and that's probably why they made his uh, forearms or his arms really thin in comparison to the rest of the body, mm. so it doesn't look like weird on him. I think that's my that's my opinion though. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down Let's below. See if you can box him up. Yeah, the most trench coat jackets, as I'm trying to fit this on him, bulk up figures. Like that's the one thing I didn't like about the Marvel Legends Punisher from Netflix is that that jacket was so bulky it looked weird on him, in my opinion. And so as you can see here, now that he has thinner arms, it just looks better. I think it does. Hold on, let me let me adjust this real quick before uh, I stand him up fully. There you go. Janelle, what do you think of that? That looks really cool. Look at him on the light. Oh, yeah, that looks really nice, especially with the, the thinner arms. Definitely give him a much more uh, evened out look, in my opinion. And that looks absolutely fantastic. I think we might have, have to, to say. adjust the, the wire in the coat. Uh, this bit. one. Oh, so it does have a wire. Look yeah. at that. Is this a hint? Are we gonna start getting wired clothing? Yes, we are. Whoa. Is this wired down here too? No, it is not. Uh, it looks to... like 
The it, collar and the side. Okay, so the collar is wired. Oh, I did not know they they wired this up. Wow. So it doesn't have to flare okay. up or out or however yeah, you want it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Can I ask a question? Sure. Does he have bullet holes in his vest? Or no, I mean, he does not have bullet. He does not have bullet holes. It doesn't oh, look like mind. he it's has It's just bullet. texturing for the actual Right. Vest. It's just texturing okay. for his actual vest never right there. Mind. So, anyway, as I've been saying before in all my Mezco figures, the capes and stuff need wiring, and we finally have something. I think we are going to start getting wired clothing from them. Thank goodness. Thank you, Mezco. I appreciate you guys listening to people like us. So, let's move on to other accessories. Uh, no guns yet. We're going to look up at his super messed up face. We're going to remove this one. <laughs> ah, super easy to do, by the way. And let's look real close at his second face that you get. And he's cut up. He's messed up. He's bleeding. He's like, I had enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm still going to keep fighting. And that's the face that when I look at that face, that's what it looks like to me. Wow, look at that. That looks really cool. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I just love your voices. Continue. Okay, we're going to keep moving on here. I personally do just enjoy just regular, regular, uh, I don't want to get away from all this his type face. Yeah, his clean, face, not beaten up face. Which is very rare to see Yeah, the show. exactly. So this is something that I just like. I let's, love these hands, by the way. So let's look at the guns here. Um, this is what I do know. One of the guns, I'm not too sure which one. It looks like a Colt Python. I don't think this is a Colt Python, though. Someone correct mm. me down in the comments down below if you're a gun aficionado like myself. I can't really tell which one is this. I'm not a revolver guy. So I think this is a Colt Python. And it looks like the chamber right here actually pops out. Does it pop out? Let's see if I can give it a little push. And the answer to that is no. But it does rotate. Look at this. I just want to show this to you guys. It rotates. That's cool. Yeah, it, it does. I don't know why you want this to rotate if it doesn't pop out. Because you're playing with it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and that's it. That looks really cool right there. And let's get his hand. Uh, you can his... play like Russian roulette. Yeah, you can play Russian roulette. Oh, that's true. Go that's true. Up. Yeah, you can. You can. Uh, we're going to put this on his left hand because I noticed that he likes to switch hands in the show when he's like checking corners and stuff like that. Uh, let's get a proper hand hand placement of gun. No teacupping here. Teacupping is something that you don't want to do when you're shooting a gun. You do not have proper control of your handgun. You want to hold it like this. Let's see if we can get him to properly have proper form because that's something that I notice a lot in the Punisher show is that he holds his guns really well mm -hmm. like a... Like someone should. Well, he like was a actually real good trained. Like a, yeah, like a real shooter. Right? Yeah, he was actually trained. I believe he was. Correct. Kind of like how Keanu Reeves was trained. So there you have it. That's him with his um, revolver right there. That looks really solid. Wow, I really like that. That looks cool. <laughs> I have to point out these hands are really detailed. Like Yeah, seriously. Other, Let's look at like, that. Let's look at this. We've seen. You can see the veins. Yeah, you can see the veins. That looks really nice. It's uh, really cool. I've yet to decide if the little specks are supposed to be dirt or dried blood. Could be. Or uh, if it's like a texturing. Yeah, it could be a te or a texturing skin. thing. And one of my favorite pistols of all time. This is a 1911. Let's see if we can remove the magazine. Yes, you can. You can remove the magazine of, the, of his night. And there's a backup <laughs> magazine right here. So you have two magazines of the 1911, and you can see. I always love that Mezco does this. You, there's a 45 sticking out right there. Really cool, so you can get some awesome reloading scene or uh, reloading poses. And the slide falls back. Oh man, here we this go. We're toy zooming is meant back. To be played yeah, with. <laughs> all most Punisher toys by Mezco are really awesome. <laughs> see, as you can see, the slide comes back, so he can check the chamber for a bullet, which he does a lot in the series. I've noticed is he checks the chamber. He's all like, "Gotta make sure I got a bullet in there." It's see, legit. see, look at that. I even pulled the slide back with just his hand. There you go. See, let's see. Let's do that again. So just his hand. See, he can pull the slide back, which is really cool, and he can check the chamber, and he can clear that room of any bad guys that want to kill him or he wants to kill them and punish. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this toy, it, all Punisher figures by Mezco are really, really nice. 
Um, the jacket, I think, and this is my opinion, I think Janelle will somewhat agree with me. It seems like the jacket is hindering him from posing correctly. It's really bulky It's right really there bulky and it's it's tighter around his armpits, so it, it's kind of giving it a harder time to yeah. pose him correctly. Which I think... As much as I love the tiny jackets, I don't think this one is like... It needs to be a little bit bigger, in mm. my opinion. Um, I think with the pistols, it's really hard to, to hold his pistols correctly. So it looks like you may have to stick with one-handed shooting poses, something like that. Yeah, unfortunately. It's really difficult to to get him to hold the gun properly. Uh, let's look here. You get a K-bar. Let's see if we can get the K-bar on him with the proper hand. Now, I notice you don't get as much stuff as the exclusive Punisher, which is fine, honestly, because you still get a decent amount of stuff here. Like, that other Punisher came with, like, grenades and stuff like that. Well, he doesn't really use grenades that much, so I understand, but he definitely uses a pistol a lot. And so here he is with his K-Bar knife, if he wants to start cutting up people. And <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, duh. The big one, the big boy, the Gatling gun, the 134A, duh. <laughs> Seriously, the minigun. I don't. There's I nothing. Mi there really is it's... nothing mini about a minigun. Let's no. be real about that. And that looks absolutely amazing. Uh, let's get this on him. Also, there's effect pieces which I will also put on. It looks like these effect pieces could work like right on the minigun. Let's see if I can fit that in the chamber. Yes, you can. So you can have something like that. That looks really cool. And let's outfit him with his minigun. So let's see. Let's try to make him right-handed this time. Been making him a left-handed shooter. Or maybe he is a left-handed shooter. No, he's not. He he could be left or right. He switches stances in the in the show, I believe. Quite a bit. So here we go. Put this on. And you could get him like so. Room clearing awesomeness. Whoa! That looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Very, very nice. And I think that's about it when it comes to his accessories. Not as much. Oh, yeah. Also, let's look here. Uh, before I forget, uh, you can stick the chain on the side there. And that looks really, really nice. Do you have a face in the right way? Oh, no. I don't have it. Good call, Janelle. Good call. I like that gotta, it's flexible. Yeah, you got you to gotta face it the correct way. So there you have it. That's him with all his accessories. Now, let's see something. There's something I wanted to try. Can you use this head Ooh. on this one? Uh, and the answer to that is no. <laughs> no. Uh, one of the reasons why is because this neck actually is designed differently than most Mescos. Most Mescos look have that have that uh, socket in there, and this socket actually is way deep into the head. So the answer to your mm. question, if you guys were like, "Oh man, I got that. I got the the." the Mezco Punisher exclusive and one I want to put this head which would be really cool no the answer to that question is absolutely not you cannot switch those out okay. now the final part of this is can he fit um, 112 scale guns from other series which is little armory um, I believe the other one was Marauder arms and here is a 112 scale M249 little armory if you want him with his M249, yes, you can. This does work. What do you think, Janelle? Very cool. Very, very cool. Menacing. Yeah, so very menacing. Does fit. Um, and let's see here. Of course, you got to have a sniper, this DMR SR25 or AR10. And you can have him sniping right there. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that belongs oh, in his hand. Oh, so cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Uh, you have your standard M4, which you can shoot. And he could reload as well. See, you can hold the magazine. So you can uh, put that in like so. So that handles that. That works with the M4. Here is a AK. I believe this little... No, this is not little armory. This is uh, from, a, from a different company. I honestly forgot what it was. Vortex Toys. This is the Vortex Toys AK. Ooh, this looks like it belongs with him right there. The AK-47 right there. Let's push it closer to his body so he can aim down the sights. And yes, you can have that. And, of course, my favorite gun in Airsoft, which is the AUG, the bullpup. And you can have him hold the front grip right there while he's looking down the sight. That looks really cool right there. Of course, we're going to be putting more of these poses in the end of the video. And this is a Platts Arms 
Desert Eagle, honestly, the Desert Eagle is a little bit too small, in mm. my opinion. It needs to be... A, th that gun is massive. Yeah, it's uh, not we, exactly. we fired a real one, and this one is its too a little too small. The Platts Armory uh, pistols are too small. But if you're looking to see if a little Armory SIG works, this is also a little bit too small. Actually, no, this is, this is also Vortex Toys, I believe. I'm, I, I'm not too sure. I just have too many of these little guns everywhere. <laughs> Um, this one's a little too small. The The pistols that I have are too small. And we're going to move on to the final bit. And this is one of my favorite guns. I have an airsoft version of this. Is the AA-12 automatic shotgun. Ultimate room clearing awesomeness with a drum mag. If you want them to come in through the room and blast people, there you have it. That okay, so let's come up with a conclusion of this action figure of the Mezco 112 Collective. Netflix Punisher, Janelle, take it away. What is your conclusion on this figure? Well, as always, when it comes to Mezco, I love the humanist, humanistic? Human-like. The human-like characteristics, yes. that's what I'm trying to say, yes. that they actually give to these figures that make them look like the real yes. human counterparts. Exactly. Um, it definitely takes... A totally different spin when it comes to action figures. They don't look cartoony and comic-y, but at the same time, it does justice to the actual hero. And I'm just always blown away. And I love the teeny tiny clothes. I do. <laughs> I'm not as impressed with this jacket, sadly. Okay, why not? And Even though it has a wire in it that we've all been wanting wire clothes from Mezco? It's kind of not fitted well. It's yeah. kind of in the way of his face. Like, his arms are constricted. I wish that he was a little bit more buff because yeah. that's how he that's actually how he looks. In the, in the so show, I feel right? like those things could have been improved upon. But aside from that, I really like the accessories. I love the way he looks. It's it's a really great toy. Yeah, and I have to say, uh, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with this figure. If I were to nitpick, now these are nitpicks. I'm not saying that these should deter you completely away from this figure. I wish he came with a little bit more guns. I know you have to buy the 112 scale guns, like Little Armory. Uh, when I got this guy, he came with like an M4, grenades, and everything like that. And I was like genuinely impressed for like 80 bucks. If you got this for 80 bucks at, at Comic Con, that was a steal. Mm -hmm. um, instead of that, what we get is a very realistic looking Punisher, John Barenthal looking like a uh, action figure, which replaces all the uh, other guns. I think they. I mean, they got to pay for the license, and it's very expensive. And to put more stuff like that, it, it does make sense why they wouldn't include it. But for what we get, it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, this Gatling gun looks absolutely so cool love that love that the barrels rotate and everything like that i have a bunch of 112 scale guns already so it's like you know what it works for me yeah. the guy works for me and this is just an absolutely amazing figure which you can get where at dstartoys.com that's where you can get this figure at www.dstartoys.com your reliable source for awesome action figures i think that's all that we have for today thank you for watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe and we love your faces i'll see you guys next time peace
Hey you! Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.